What's going on with the manual quickly? It seems like heading into this offseason, all fingers were pointed to the question of how much money will the New York Knicks offer quickly and when will the New York Knicks offer quickly his contract extension? And now, thanks to recent reports, we may have an answer as to when the New York Knicks will offer Emmanuel quickly an extension and what that ultimately means for the New York Knicks. We're going to break down all of this and so much more today. Let's get started. When will Emmanuel quickly receive an extension? Now, that's been the golden question heading into this offseason. How much money will Emmanuel quickly make? When is he going to get this contract extension? What does it mean for the New York Knicks? And do the New York Knicks value quickly enough to give him a large contract extension? These are a lot of great questions that we're going to answer today because thankfully, SNY's Ian Bagley broke this situation down for us and gave us a lot of information in regards to quickly his contract and when you can expect the New York Knicks to aggressively pursue giving him an extension. According to Sports Illustrated, ever since the free agency market opened, the New York Knicks guard Emmanuel Quickly has constantly been in contract disputes or trade rumors. Quickly said that he wants nine figures over four years. That was a report from TheHeavy.com. And regardless of which city he'll call home within the next couple of seasons, he's going to want that nine-figure payday. The 24-year-old Emmanuel Quickly is a restricted free agent after this coming season meaning the Knicks can match any offer he gets on the open market. But if it is nine figures, New York may have a difficult time matching it. Now we have the answer as to how much. And we kind of already knew this answer because this particular answer has been floated out there for the last few weeks. We knew that Quickly's floor in terms of how much he could make at the very least was about $80 million. Now that was first reported by Hoops Hype Michael Scotto. And we heard that his ceiling might be $100 million. Given the playoff performance that he has, I think that he's probably going to find himself at around the 80 million mark or just underneath it in terms of an extension that he's going to get from the New York Knicks. But now we want to know when. When could he potentially get this contract extension from the New York Knicks? How long do we have to wait for this news? Well, thankfully, SNY's Ian Bagley gave us some updates into this too. According to SNY's Ian Bagley, he doesn't believe the Knicks are waiting to gain cap flexibility by not paying quickly. However, he believes a deal will get done around October. Most often, these things get done right before the season. I think the deadline is right before the rosters get set for the regular season, according to Ian Bagley. Bagley explained that the early draft picks get extensions done much earlier than the rest of the class. Quickly averaged a solid 14.9 points, 4.2 rebounds, and 3.4 assists in 2022-2023. But it is worth noting that he was selected with the 25th overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Ian Bagley believes that Quickly's performance, where he ended up being a runner-up for six man of the year, is going to lead him to get a payday from the New York Knicks. But we don't know exactly how much that payday is going to be. And I think this is important to note here because the New York Knicks have a lot of time left to offer Quickly a contract extension. The deadline for them to do so is before the regular season starts, which is in October. So they have quite a lot of time to think about this, think about the right numbers, speak to Emmanuel quickly, and figure out what's the right course of action to take moving forward for quickly and his future with the New York Knicks. But I think these reports are very, very noteworthy. We obviously see that the New York Knicks value Emmanuel quickly. They're looking like they are going to pay him and give him a contract extension. And it looks like that contract extension is going to come in October. So while Emmanuel quickly may want nine figures, he's probably going to get around 80 million or a little bit less than that. That's what I potentially think his contract's going to be. And I absolutely agree with Ian Bagley here. I believe the New York Knicks are going to wait and offer him this contract extension in October, right before the season starts. It's also good to note that Ian Bagley stated that if he was an earlier draft pick, he would have already gotten a contract extension. But because of where he was selected, the 25th overall pick, He didn't get that contract extension early on, and he's likely going to get it a little bit later. But Bagley did state that is normal given where Emmanuel quickly was drafted. So I don't have any concern in regards to that. However, it is interesting to note 
that the New York Knicks are looking to give quickly a contract extension because a lot of people have been thinking that the Knicks were going to move quickly in a trade this offseason to get a superstar, especially since they added Dante DiVincenzo to this roster, who's another guard potentially that could play quickly's position. So we're seeing a lot of moves being made that look like the New York Knicks are preparing for a life without quickly, but it seems like they're not ready to part with Emmanuel quickly unless they can get something significant back. But we did just mention trade, and that's a good point to start with, because are the New York Knicks building up Emmanuel quickly's value so they can potentially trade him later? Are they looking to give him a reasonable contract extension so when they do trade him, the contract doesn't weigh them down? Well, thankfully, SNY's Ian Bagley gives us some insight in regards to the New York Knicks and potentially what they're thinking in an Emmanuel Quickly trade. According to Ian Bagley, if and when Emmanuel Quickly is extended, Bagley believes that Knicks president Leon Rose will trade him away because his contract is more valuable, leading to more realistic trade offers for all-star caliber players. Quickly being traded after he's extended, according to Bagley, makes the deal a lot easier than if he was traded on his rookie contract because the new price matches his performance. I'd expect the deal maybe not to get done immediately, but the Knicks to be aggressive and get a deal done before the deadline in October. And I absolutely agree with Ian Bagley here, regardless of what the Knicks are going to do. If they're going to trade quickly later on down the line for an all-star, just like Ian Bagley stated he believes Leon Rose is going to do and what he's preparing to do, or they're looking to retain quickly for the long term. They have a lot of directions that they can go in, especially if Emmanuel quickly takes another step in this game. Because I think if he does that, the Knicks will be even more hard-pressed to try to find another player that they could get for a reasonable deal like they would potentially get Emmanuel quickly on that could produce the numbers that quickly is doing. But the main thing I took out of this article is that the New York Knicks value quickly to an extent that they would only trade him for an all-star. That's a very good point to make because that means that if you're looking for role players or maybe some draft compensation or whatever the case may be, Emmanuel quickly is not going to be the piece they give out in that type of trade. It seems like the only time Emmanuel quickly will be moved from this New York Knicks team is to secure them an all-star or superstar. If they can't get that type of player in an Emmanuel Quickly trade, the New York Knicks are going to be out of any potential Emmanuel Quickly trade. And that's just facts. So we now know that the New York Knicks potentially will trade Emmanuel Quickly even if he gets an extension. So the extension doesn't make him safe. And also Ian Bailey doubled down on the fact that if the New York Knicks could trade him for an all-star or superstar, they would do that as well too. So that's also on the table. So the New York Knicks could potentially wait for an Emmanuel Quickly trade package that makes sense to them. And until that happens, they could continue playing him, increasing his value, and hopefully watching him take another leap, which would only help his value get higher and potentially make it easier for the New York Knicks to move him in a trade deal. But this was great information here given by SNYZ and Bagley because we always wanted to know when the New York Knicks would give Emmanuel quickly his potential contract extension. And now we know regardless that if he's going to be signed to a contract extension, whether he's going to be retained, traded later on or whatever the case may be, it's clear that the New York Knicks value Emmanuel quickly highly. It's clear that the New York Knicks are likely going to pay Emmanuel quickly. And it's clear that the New York Knicks are likely going to offer Emmanuel quickly that contract extension closer to the deadline in October. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment below, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Knicks fans. Peace.